So now we're going to create a, a registration form. We're going to title the registration form create new user and there's a label for the email there's a text box for the email we do some validation on the on the email if it's not email address we display a information there's a label label for the password we display a field for the password and then there's a button that says create user okay that's going to be the registration uh, the registration view okay let's save this and that's what happens when you first hit this uh, initial action. It simply displays the registration view. Once you click on the create user, then we're sending the user in. First thing we do, we validate that the state of the model is OK. Create a new instance of our uh, main DB context. Uh, again, you should be familiar with this if you watch the Entity Framework um, uh, videos. Then we create a new instance of our Simple Crypto um, uh, class. And then we're going to um, encrypt the password. So whatever the password that the user sent in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we're creating an encryption of that password. And we're going to definitely debug this so you can see what the password looks like. Um, we're going to create a new system user. This is a uh, entity, system user entity. And we're simply going to assign all the values that we have into that user. Um, this password salt comes from the uh, crypto class and is the salt property. We're going to store that inside the database as well. And then we're going to simply use, uh, we're going to simply add that entity back into the context and then save it. Okay. Once we create all that, then we redir redirect to the uh, main page. So um, put a breakpoint, um, hit our play button in here, and let's check it out. So let's click register. My password's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Create user. I don't want to remember the password. Our debugging gets hit. And then look at our user model in here. You can see my email and password. And then I'm going to uh, step through each one of the, uh, of the points in here. So now we have a new uh, encryption class in here. Um, this is our password and we're going to use this compute uh, method inside our encryption class and then this null right here it's going to become this encrypted password this really uh, crazy string right here okay now we're going to create a new instance of the um, of the entity the, the fields are all null okay because it's a brand new entity if we look at our table in here uh, open show table data you can see that we have no data in here right now. So now let's just uh, add all the information in here. So now we have the email, we have the encrypted password, we have the salt, which was generated by the encryption class to help generate the encrypted password, and we have a new GUID. Okay? Add back to the context, save it to the database, and now redirect to the um, to the main to the main page. Okay? So now we're here. We have we have a user created. So let's go ahead and try to log in with that user. Okay. So password one two three four five six seven. Click log in. Um, we're stepping through the same thing we stepped earlier. It's going to try to validate. The first thing it's going to do it's go to the database and pull the user based on the email address. Do we have one? Yes, we have one. We have the password. We have the salt. And so if that user is not null, uh, we're going to use the salt stored in the database plus the password that the user used it to make sure that equals to what's stored in the database. And that looked like it went through. And so we change the variable is valid to true. And we return. We set the uh, forms authentication to true. And then we return to the main page. And now we can see that Fabio at email.com is a logged in user. The last thing we need to do is log out. Um, and that is very simple. We simply set the uh, form to um, to sign out. So let's go to the log out in here. And then we do forms authentication dot sign out and then we're going to return uh, redirect to action let's just send it back to the main page index and home all right let's do the thing one more time 
I'm not sure if I save the database. Let me see if this still works. Let's click continue. Okay, so now we're here. Click log out. And now we're out of the system. So that's a very simple form of authentication. It's a long video. It's, it's kind of tedious to um, do all the work, but um, it's actually pretty fun. It's actually pretty fun to, uh, to work with us. And, um, and I hope you guys learned something. Um, I have to give some credit to um, a few people uh, because I used some of their stuff. Um, uh, person number one is Sean McLean, the person that wrote the uh, crypto uh, library. Um, please check his link in the description. And also, I um, I found this uh, this uh, web page on Code Project that uh, um, I borrow a lot of things from it. Not exactly everything. I borrow about seventy percent of it, maybe sixty seventy percent of it. I borrow. Um, and the author is, I, I'm not going to attempt to say his name, but it's, he's from Lithuania, and then he's a web developer. Um, and he has a nice blog about um, creating custom, uh, uh, custom user login in MVC4. Check his link in the description as well. Um, so um, credit to both of those people that um, helped me accomplish this video. So thanks for watching. Like it, uh, subscribe, and stay tuned for more to come. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.